Less than 600 people have ever been to space. It's an environment that less than 70 years ago was out of reach. A place that for a long time looked like we would only be able to stare at from the Earth. Every year, a select few are chosen to continue our exploration of space and represent humanity's quest for knowledge. They're taken away from their families, away from their friends, away from everything they've ever known. It's something that many of us may have become accustomed to in the lockdown. And the isolation experienced by astronauts is not too dissimilar to what we can all feel here on Earth. Three of the most famous individuals to explore space were the crew of Apollo 11, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins. This iconic photo taken by Collins from the mission has everyone who was alive at the time in it. Neil and Buzz in the lunar module and the other several billion people inside the Earth behind. Everyone is in the photo, except Michael. At a distance of nearly 400,000 kilometres from the Earth, Michael was left alone for 21 hours, losing all communication to the Earth when circling around the Moon's far side. Some astronauts, such as Collins, dealt well with these conditions and had been cramped up with another two men for several days. Who could blame him for enjoying a little bit of extra space? But loneliness and isolation are real worries for the future of space exploration, especially as we look towards longer duration lunar missions and hopefully one day a crewed mission to Mars. We're going to look at how they prepare for this, what they can do in space to help improve their mental well-being, and the support network available to them. And perhaps we could all learn a little from these astronauts about how to deal with loneliness here on Earth. Because the more we explore space, not only do we find out more about what's out there, but also how to protect what's inside here.